only knows what this is doing to the ratings, but here we go again. Peg, you're on. Ah, I'm an old grave now with one foot on me woman and the other on the edge. All I can remember now is me memories. She's an old woman now with one foot on the grave and the other on its edge. All she has left is her memories. Ah, ah, thank you, Humongous. Thank you. You know, I remember, I remember well a letter I got from America and how it helped bring about my marriage. The letter was from my very best friend, Carl Jim. And in it, you see, she told me how she had injured her wee handy wendy and was unable to work, and therefore could not send me the fair to go and join her. So I was left with two options. I could go into service, or I could get married. Marriage was decided, and my brother Sean arranged the match. I was to choose from Kerry's finest, I tell you, huh? No, oh, sure each one of them was too good a man for me, even if I was seven times a better woman than I was. But, in the end, the choice was a simple one. Oh, when our eyes met, I knew that we would be together forever. So he, his name was Pete Geheen, huh? And I do not think that his likes will ever be seen again. It was soon after that we were to get married. And a fine wedding it was too. Oh, you see, Pete was from the great Blasket Islands off the west coast of Kerry. Uh, the, the island men enjoyed themselves all right, although they had a wild reputation after the one lovely gentle creatures leaving. What celebrations we had, huh? Oh, it was a fierce tip of the reel and one hell of a hullabaloo. And you know, it lasted for three days and three nights. Well, finally, I said my goodbyes to everyone. What do you see? A new and difficult life awaited me on the Great Blasket Islands. Ah, I, I don't know, I'll tell you, Humongous. It, it, it was romantic and, and sad at the same time, huh? Romantic? Atlantic would be more like it. Well, you're getting far too smart altogether. A yellow wake up woman who wants to listen to that whole nonsense. Now, look here, Humongous. If you don't be careful, I'd chop you up into little slices and get Ralph Harris to sell you. you no, know, no, Peg, there's no need for violence. Well, get away from that fire. You're getting far too comfortable there altogether, huh? <laughs> You know, 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 you